How did I get here? <gasps> Maui Wowie just picked it up from Spiceology. In this video, I'm gonna be making agadashi with this really nice spice. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first, start the dashi. Got a pot of water here, and then I have some kombu, dried kelp. You can find this at most Asian stores. That's going in. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer, and then we're gonna turn that off, let it steep for about 30 minutes. Now, you're gonna have to go into the Chinatown shelf of your pantry and get some bonito flakes. All it is is tuna. It's been dried, fermented, smoked. Now that it's steeped for enough time, I'm just gonna remove this kombu. Don't throw this away, you can save this and repurpose it for later for something like furukake. So set that aside, and then we can go ahead and bring this back up to a simmer. I'm just gonna take a fine strainer, bonito flakes here, and then toss that into the pot. Now we're just gonna let this simmer with the bonito flakes in the pot for around one to two minutes, nothing longer than that because then it'll become bitter. All right, let's pull her out. Look at that, we've got beautiful dashi here. There we go, dashi done. Oh, it's a lot of liquid. Got some tofu that I have here on a rack and a sheet tray, just to sort of drain all that liquid. So here's the medium firm tofu that I just went ahead and drained on a rack and a sheet tray. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up into little squares. You should have something like that right there. Squishy little guy. All right, get yourself a bowl. Got a bowl here. So in the bowl, we're gonna do some potato starch or you can do corn starch. Either or will work. I'm gonna keep it traditional, go with the potato. Some of that Maui Wowie. We've just got potato starch. Then I'm gonna add in some of that Maui Wowie into the dredge. Go ahead and whisk this stuff up. There's our dredge for the agadashi tofu. This stuff has some pineapple, brown sugar, some tamari granules in there, so it's gonna caramelize when we fry it. Tofu in. Should be coated just like this. This is ready to be fried. Just gonna do some garlic and a nub of ginger here. I like to use the back end of my knife to peel the ginger, just a little quick tip. Clean, bro. Nice. Oil in the pan, add in the garlic. And then I'm just gonna grate in the ginger. The finer, the better, so that's why I'm grating it. And since I'm gonna use scallions as the garnish, I'm gonna go ahead and take the bottom half and cook that off now. Save the top half for my garnish. At this point, I'm gonna add in some more Maui Wowie, just so I can caramelize the sugars in it. Now we deglaze with some seasoned rice wine vinegar. And you just wanna reduce it all the way down so it looks like this. It has a beautiful amber color. Then add in your dashi. Oh yeah, man. All right. Go ahead and adjust the seasoning with some soy sauce. That's covering, man. Just put that in a bowl, slurp that up. Time to fry the tofu. All right, tofu's dredged up. Now we're just gonna fry it. All this is is just canola oil set to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Just gonna fry these bad boys off until they're golden brown, GBD, and delicious. And them well with some salt. All right, so here we have the agadashi tofu dashi, and then the dredged tofu fried, it's got a creamy inside, crunchy outside, topped with some bonito flakes on a bed of scallions. Delicious, comforting, you guys need it, you're stuck inside, take some comfort food in. Thanks so much for watching the video, if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.